Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Ball Jersey. Joe Archino back here. And the news that we've all kind of been expecting and waiting for has finally been confirmed. Pep Guardiola will replace Manuel Pellegrini as the new head coach on a three-year contract starting June 30th. And look, we all kind of knew. The rumors have been linked for so long now. But Manchester City finally confirmed it. So now I can finally come on the air and talk about it. So I'm very happy about that. I mean, I think... He is the perfect guy for Manchester City because Man City is a club with the most talent in the Premier League, but they unquestionably do not play up to that talent. There are times when you can tell when the club is just disorganized, and I think for a lot of times, the fact that the competitive advantage has not been in their favor against Arsenal, against Liverpool, against Everton, against Man United, shows that they're not managed properly, and I think... Pep Guardiola is one of the best three managers in the world. There's Jose Mourinho, there's Carlo Ancelotti, and then there's Pep Guardiola. The three of them are just at a different level when it comes to their tactics, when it comes to their philosophy, and when it comes to just getting their teams in the right positions to win. It's not easy to do that, but when you're a club with Man City with so much overwhelming talent, the competitive advantage needs to be in your favor every match, and it's not. But with Pep Guardiola now coming, he will bring his own philosophy. He will bring his own tactics. I think he's the perfect guy to lead Manchester City. And I think when you look at them at the moment, Pep Guardiola is the kind of guy where it's very demanding to play under him. It really is. I mean, he left Barcelona still on top. He's leaving the Bundesliga with Bayern Munich still on top. And he said in interviews, you know, it's not always easy, you know, sometimes I feel think he feels like he can't overstay his welcome at a place because he sees what happens. Sometimes great managers overstay their welcome because they're so grueling and they're so demanding on their players that after a while, they the, the players just need a break and they just can't take that anymore. Um, so he has left two great places still on top, and I think it's kind of smart what he does, you know. He had an incredible run with FC Barcelona, Champions League, with La Liga titles, UEFA Super Cup, did it all, Be the Bundesliga with Bayern Munich. I mean, he really had such a firm control over that league with Bayern Munich, and now you see he's taking his next challenge to the English Premier League with Manchester City. You know, it's a three-year contract, but I really believe when you look at the Premier League, he could dominate that league these next three years, and possibly bring Manchester City to the success they've always wanted in the Champions League because you know Man City is going to throw whatever money it takes to win. The, uh, the, the contract financial details haven't been released yet, but I would be very surprised if he wasn't maybe the highest paid manager in Premier League history. Man City will do whatever it takes to put trophies on the table. They showed it with Raheem Sterling. They showed it with Kevin De Bruyne. They will do whatever it takes to win. And, and that's something you like from a club. They just needed to get the right manager in place. Manuel Pellegrini, you give him credit. He did a lot of good things for Manchester City. But over time, I don't think he's been the right man for the job. Again, you could just tell this season they're, they don't have the competitive advantage in the matches that matter, and that is really inexcusable. Pep Guardiola now was kind of the man. We knew he was going to be the man there, and he will be taking that role. And the interesting thing I think is, which I, I thought about right away, is what response does this trigger from Manchester United? We know Louis van Gaal is on the hot seat more so than he ever has been. Jose Mourinho, there were reports that he wrote a letter to Man United expressing his desire for the job. Does this make them pull the trigger on a Jose Mourinho? Because it did seem like after it was confirmed that Carlo Ancelotti would be taking over for Pep and Pep would be stepping down, that... Jose and then Pep, their names were kind of being linked to both clubs. But now Pep has the conf the confirmed is it's confirmed he's going to Man City. Does this make Old Trafford pull the trigger and bring in Jose Mourinho? I think they might have to. I mean, I really think with Pep Guardiola in place, with the talent that he has, he's got to be salivating over the fact with this roster that he has. I mean, if you're a manager like Pep, you look at where where what position Man City is in now, and you say. How is Manuel Pellegrini not taking control of the Premier League? Because that's the biggest thing. You have Leicester City in first place. Leicester City, I love the way that they play. I love Vardy. I love Mahirez. But the fact that they're still in first place is really remarkable because 
the Premier League, like anything in sports, is about talent. Talent at the overwhelming talent at the end of the day should always be winning, but it has not done so in Man City's case with Pep Guardiola at the helm. There, I think unquestionably it will. But you really you look at the future for City now. I think it's all. We'll see what happens the rest of the season. I think that you know Man City really needs to do maybe win the FA Cup and the Community Cup to really solidify themselves, get the confidence, get the competitive advantage back in their favor to realistically have a chance to win the title this season. But when you look on the horizon, if you're a City fan, it's hard not to get excited over the prospects of Pep Guardiola being the official guy there because, again, he has all the talent to work with. He has a club that will throw all the money that it takes to win at, 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 at a title, and he is a guy who has such a presence of the game, such a love and an understanding of tactics and what it takes to win. It is a slam dunk for Manchester City. We'll see what response it draws from Manchester United, but everything that you, that you look at this morning I think Man City has kind of stolen the headlines once again like they've been doing it's so so long I mean with Raheem Sterling they steal the headlines with Kevin De Bruyne they steal the headlines and once again now with a confirmation of Pep Guardiola I think they steal the headlines in the future looks very very bright for Manchester City Football Club but until we see what that future is Jersey Joe Archino here with the sports ball you can follow me on Twitter at Joe Archino on Instagram Jersey underscore Joe underscore Archino and I'll be back very soon.